My name is Aaron Wong and I'm an underwater photographer. I think the underwater world is probably one of the best places to make pictures really because it is like the most colourful canvas Mother Nature can offer. So I started off this journey as a diver of course, uh, but I was already a photographer on land so the moment I jumped into the water, you know, the photographer in you would come out straight away like, oh you know it's so beautiful, I wish I could get a picture of this and a picture of that. So you kind of see things in frames. So um, I would say it's a natural progression. and. Um, so once you fall into the so-called the, uh, the, the ring of, of, of uh, underwater photography, you, you just naturally get it. The time that I felt really, I would say, that I was a little bit worried and you know, I felt that it was really dangerous it was actually very recent on my trip to uh, Troop Lagoon, where I was uh, filming, I was shooting some of these World War II wrecks. And uh, <clears throat> some of the scenes that I wanted to do required us to uh, go really deep into, penetrate really deep into the wrecks. And these wrecks are, number one, very deep. Number two, the places that we need to get to are really a very confined space. So if anybody who knows anything about diving, you know, once you go into a place that you need to make five or six turns to enter, and if anything happens, you have to make five or six turns to get out in pitch darkness, uh, it gets really hairy. And uh, the level of danger is really high. And I would say, you know, the sheer fact that you can't see you know, it's like watching the movie Aliens. Right? You, you turn around, it's just a black corridor. You can't see where you are going. I think um, the element of danger was really high. And you know, all it takes is a very small mistake and, and, and you are in a lot of trouble. I've been diving for the past 16 years. I've been shooting for 20. Um, so there's definitely a lot of experience that has been gathered. You know, things that you will never learn in school, you will never get in a textbook. And you know, these are the things I would like to share with people. And uh, uh, of course, I, they can go and explore and, and experiment themselves. But sharing information is uh, uh, the, the one of the key factors. And not only for me giving uh, tips to people. Sometimes I learn stuff from guys, and because you never stop learning. So some of these sessions are the best in, in sharing information and exchanging ideas.